everyone, this is Tamara Mascara back again and today I want to show you how to do a sexy summery 50s and rockabilly inspired look so if you're ready then keep watching. So as you can see I already did my base, foundation, contouring and some highlighting but I will use some shimmer powder later but in this case let's get right to the eye makeup. I'm starting with my eyebrows and the first step is to just brush my natural eyebrows upwards. I'm using my new Ray brow brush to correct the lower border of my eyebrows and just give them a perfect edge. For a 50s inspired look, the eyebrows can be kind of sharp. I'm simply painting on the upper edge and also here the 50s were kind of harsh. I'm filling in the entire eyebrow with paint stick in the color 101 and I try to fade out the color to the front. Here in the very front of my eyebrow, I draw lines upwards in the direction that my natural hair is growing, just to give the illusion of some naturality. I'm cleaning up the edges of my eyebrow with some concealer and my concealer brush. And to finish my eyebrow off, I just brush all the hair upwards. Before I start with the application of my eyeshadows, I apply an eyeshadow primer. To start off my eyeshadow, I'm using the lightest shades of the Oh So Special 658 palette by Sleek. I'm using a pink shade of the same palette to create the first step of my crease. By dabbing on another layer of pink, I intensify the look. To create the deep shadow in my crease, I use the shade that is right next to the black in this palette. And I carefully blend it into the first layer of pink. With a deep brown eyeshadow out of the same palette, I'm merging the two colors together. Using my eyeshadow primer, I create the cut crease. Using a frosty pink shade, also out of the same palette, I'm accentuating the cut crease. I'm using Max Vanilla Pigment in the middle of the cut crease just to give it more dimension. Also with Max Vanilla Pigment I highlight my brow bone. Time to do my eyeliner. Using NYX Cosmetics Vinyl Liquid Liner, I create a 50s inspired cat eye. With some black eyeshadow and a small brush, I intensify the cut crease even more. To connect the lower and the upper eyelid, I used the same eyeshadow that I used to create my crease and I just blend it to the middle of my lower eyelid. And again with the help of Max Vanilla Pigment, I'm highlighting my inner corner. Time for the eyelashes.
To blend my natural lashes with my fake eyelashes, I just used this funny tool called the mascara wand and some MAC mascara. Alright, so the eyes are done and I'm continuing with my lip contour. I'm using a contour pencil in a kind of sherry red. And with Max Paint Stick in the color Basic Red, I fill out my lips. To top off my lip, I'm using NYX Cosmetics Intense Butter Gloss in the color Apple Crisp. I'm using one of my self-made palettes by Kiko and this shade to get a perfect 50s blush. With my fan brush and Max Vanilla Pigment, I create a crazy highlight to top off the entire look. And for those who watch all my videos, you know what comes next. It's the beauty mark and see you later with the entire look.